I protest. I should not be in this show. These guys are 70. I was born in the 70s. Well, it's worth a try. Anyway, the good part of this is that I heard the other day that fellas are like cow pies. The older they are, the easier they are to pick up. And I'm going to keep them in line. I'm going to start with uh, a Jack Drake poem, Bronco Harry's Last Ride. Hazel was a big old girl, tattooed and rough as guts, who lived on 40 acres overrun with crossbred mutts, angora goats and chicks and geese and 20 flaming cats and a skinny little boyfriend who was known as Ralph the Rat. <laughs> They'd grown up in the suburbs working welfare for a quid. Hard work never figured in what Ralph and Hazel did. Always looking for an angle, onto every lurk and rort. Every district's got them, so I guess you know the sort. She bought herself a black draft horse, big as half a whale, somewhere up the ridges in a farmer's clearing sale. Then a dodgy situation got potentially much worse when somewhere Hazel came across a big black horse-drawn hearse. Now she'd rode a horse-drawn carriage on a mother's wedding day. She knew how much a loving stepdad had to pay. She figured if they'd pay for splicing like they seemed to do, they'd be handy with the checkbook when it came to burying too. They called the big horse Satan. But you'd have to wonder why they'd want the devil for an engine on a journey to the sky. She also bought top hat and tails she wasn't going to stint, but Ralph the footman still looked like a rodent with a squint. <laughs> now, on the other hand, Bronco Harry was an old bloke, about 80 in the shade, who'd spent his whole life skiting of the mighty rides he'd made. You'd dodge him like the Black Plague if he got outside a rum, because his outlaw riding exploits were a huge pain in the bum. Time caught up with Bronco Harry. He made his final ride. The bar stool buck jump champion of half the country died. His family were all gullible. They'd swallowed Harry's bull. Hazel sold the grieving relatives. A horse-drawn funeral. Now they got the bit done at the church, then took the graveyard track. Satan prancing in the shafts and Bronco Harry out the back. The big horse skidded sideways when some grieving woman wailed and Hazel started screaming, Woo! and Ralph the footman bailed. Well, the pace was getting hotter with the gravestones flashing by. A speed hump sent old Hazel nearly halfway to the sky. The front wheels fouled a monument and spun the back about and with the action of a rocket launcher launched the coffin out. <laughs> well, Hazel hit the gravel and the big horse hit the track. Wind pressure bent the winkers and he got a look out back. He saw that coffin flying at him faster than a shooting star. Then a handle caught the trace hook in the broken swindle bar. Now Harry in his pine box is hooked behind the black. And Satan didn't go too much on coffins up his back. <laughs> but he couldn't lose that bouncing ball no matter how he tried. So he kicked the thing to smithereens and Harry was outside. <laughs> well, it stonk at all the mourners. They just stood gaping there as the corpse of Bronco Harry went cartwheeling through the air to perform the feat of horsemanship that finally brought him fame. He landed square astride, the big horse, belt hook round one haim. <laughs> now, Satan was barely broke to harness. He had no career description for a job built around the carrying of man, and he sure had no intention of packing round the dead. So he bucked like seven curios and 14 Rocky Neds. That reborn buck jump rider clung to Satan's plunging back with the grip of rigor mortis he was hooked up on the black. 
And though he never had been any better than he said, he never made a ride while living like he did when he was dead. <laughs> the, the flabbergasted funeral saw Harry and the horse go sun fishing through the graveyard and through the water course. With Satan getting stronger as Harry fanned the breeze, they ploughed through Murphy's chicken shed and vanished in the trees. Now, they couldn't kill old Harry twice, but Satan died of fright. <laughs> when they found his corpse and carcass, the hide had turned dead white. <laughs> Ralph and Hazel are still paying off the fines the court enforces. And they both get kind of twitchy when someone mentions horses. But when frost bejewels the grasses and the moon hangs cold and low, Spirits rise to sit on headstones for a ghostly rodeo. Satan's eyes glow evil through his tangled, tossing mane. As Buck jumping through the graveyard, Bronco Harry rides again. We are! <laughs>